Uh, oil and coal are called non-renewable, but every day... Oh, I, I talked about this. If man in the future achieves the capability to change global temperatures, he will most certainly use it to warm the planet, not to cool it. Oh, oh, I, I talked about... Okay, is the debate over? Everybody said, hey, the debate is over. Let me tell you something about the debate. It is error only and not truth that shuns from analysis. If somebody tells you the debate is over, what he is telling you, I don't want any more analysis. And that is not a scientific thing. There is no such thing as scientific consensus. In fact, consensus is anti-scientific. Okay, this is the last chart. Not bad, we got time. Okay, we're going to make some recommendations. Now, now, take this a grain of salt, because my predictions were mostly wrong. <laughs> but for what the hell, if you want to know what Bert wants to do, if I was if I was in charge, I don't know who's in charge, but if I wanted to round up my 44 czars, and I could and I could make policy, here's what I would do. Ignore. Drop climate change crisis. Climate change crisis, by definition, is naive, or by definition, mandated. Naive, immature, irrelevant, hopeless, and oxymoron. <laughs> Do I need to read that again? No. By the way, this presentation will be up on Bob Shearer's website uh, after we get back from Moscow. So it'll probably take uh, a week or so to put that up. I don't know, Bob. How long does that take? Next Monday or Tuesday. Okay, next, uh, check, check middle of next week. If you want to write down the website, all of my Oshkosh talks will be up on his website. Also, I gave it to a senator this morning. Okay, uh, worse yet, the alarmists can use climate change to destroy our global competitiveness through taxes. As proposed, all jobs, Captain Train now, all jobs are for government, excuse me, almost all jobs, I thought I changed that, are for government regulation and oversight, bureaucracy, and the process is already ripe with fraud. I say, this process of capital trade is ripe with fraud. What do I mean by that? Do you guys out there, any of you know that 85% that of the permits are free and they're auctioning only 15%? You know what the auction does? You, you know what? You know what that really means? You know who gets the auction money? You know? You know anything about this bill? <laughs> well, let me give you a little hint, which might encourage you to look out. But giving away a free permit means that, ah, oh, you don't really have to, you're a polluter, but you don't really have to, uh, uh, to pay for it. And it's generally given away because, oh, you help support this bill. Why are there so many supporters? You know how much money is involved? Let me tell you something right now so that you can understand what it means by free and auction permit. Free permit is like taking the money from the polluters. Oh, excuse me, I, I got this wrong. Free permit is like regulating tobacco and taking the tax on tobacco and paying it to the stockholders of Philip Morris. Now, think about that for a moment and go back and study what this process in cap and trade is. And I think you'll agree with me that that is true. And that thing, it took me a long time to figure it out. You guys are a lot smarter than me. You can probably figure it out much sooner. But that's what it is. And it, I mean, it's disgraceful.
Okay, if the government really wants to protect the citizens from a, bomb, uh, a possible planet catastrophe, then, see, this is all gone. I'm saying it's just dropped. And fund the commercial R&D on systems to defend against asteroid strikes, which are the only real extinction threat the planet has ever had, and the only one in which man can indeed use his intelligence and sweat to successfully defeat. Look at that chart of scares. This is the only one that has ever threatened our extinction, and it's the only one that us smart guys, like the people who did Apollo and Manhattan program and you name it, it's the only one that we can defeat. Now, why in the hell isn't it the important one? Well, it is under the Rutan administration. <laughs> I'm going to open up the rest of the time for questions. 